OpenAI recently announced at their first ever OpenAI Dev Day that you can now create custom GPTs to assist you in whatever you want. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a custom GPT in ChatGPT4. So I'm a big golf nerd and my first thought was I wanna make an AI golf caddy to help me navigate the golf course. Now I know that sounds crazy, but in Golf Plus VR, they are developing an AI golf caddy for the game, which knows its way around the course. Hello there, my name is Arthur and I'll be your personal caddy and coach. What would you like me to call you? You can call me Ryan. Great to meet you, Ryan. How can I assist you with your golf game today? So why not give it a try in real life? So I'm gonna try this in real life and feed the AI some information about my lie and my distance to the hole and see if it has any good advice on club selection or just where to hit the ball. To get started, you must have a ChatGPT Plus subscription which currently costs $20 a month. Once you've subscribed, select the ChatGPT4 model and then under the new chat button, select Explore. Right here you have my GPTs and I created one called Fairway Friend which helps calculate your golf handicap. All you need is your last five scorecards and information about the course you played at. If you'd like to use that, it's public. Down here are the GPTs made by OpenAI, Dolly, Data Analysis, ChatGPT Classic. Each GPT has been tailored to a specific need, like there's a GPT for doing laundry, and another called Game Time, which can help you with rules for different games. So I'm gonna come up here and click the plus symbol next to create a GPT. And hi, I'll help build your new GPT. You could say something like make a creative who helps generate visuals for new products or make a software engineer who helps format my code. What would you like to make? I would like to make an AI golf caddy. Okay, so here's the prompt I wrote to create my custom GPT, the AI golf caddy. I would like to make an AI golf caddy that can help me navigate my ball around a golf course. I would like the AI to give me advice on golf club selection and the type of shot I need to hit based on information I give about my ball's lie, the distance to the pin, as well as wind and weather conditions. And please make the occasional golf joke when appropriate. All right, I'm gonna hit return. GPT Builder is thinking. It's updating GPT. And this takes a little time. It's really deciphering everything I just typed in to make the perfect AI golf caddy. GPT behavior updated. All right, so now I've created my AI golf caddy, and here's the description that ChatGPT gave it. AI golf caddy providing club selection and course navigation advice with a touch of humor. Here are some random conversation starters with the AI. What club should I hit for a 150 yard shot? Tell me a golf joke. My ball is in the rough, what should I do? So these are just kind of conversation starters if I need them. So right here we have create and now we have configure on the right. So I'm gonna name my GPT. I'm gonna name it something very generic so other people will find it. AI Golf Caddy, boom. So right here you can have Dolly create an image based on the description of your GPT and it's sort of the logo for your GPT. So let's see what it comes up with. Oh yeah, look at that guy. There he is. It's the AI golf caddy. He has a little golf book too, which is perfect. So now we have the name at the top. We have the description of our GPT. Then we have instructions for our GPT, which is basically what I wrote, but it boiled it down and added a little more information. Then we have conversation starters. And down below we have knowledge. So you can actually upload files to help train your GPT. Now what I've done is I went to Timber Creek Golf Course, which is my local golf course. I love to play there. Try to play at least once a week. And if you go to course guide, there are images of each hole. So I'm gonna upload an image of each hole to help train ChatGPT. Now it is worth mentioning that I was only able to upload 10 images to the GPT or it would not save. So you are limited in the amount of data you can upload to train your AI. Now down below here, you have web browsing capabilities. You have Dolly image generation and code interpreter. Under actions, you can create a new action which allows ChatGPT to search a website or use a third party plugin. Now at the very bottom, there's a drop down for additional settings to use conversation data in your GPT to improve our models. And boom, my AI golf caddy GPT is created. You can see it under my GPTs. I made it public, so try it out if you want. So now I'm gonna take it out on the course and see how it works. Okay, I'm on the ninth hole. I got 384 over water, but there's water on the other side at 230. What do you recommend? 
choose a club for your tee shot that will keep you short of the water at 230 yards, like a fairway wood or a long iron. Okay, so I'm gonna choose a five wood over the water and see what happens. All right, so this is my lie after that shot, just shy of the bunker and the water. So that was some good advice to hit the fairway wood instead of a driver. So I have a 141 yard shot to the green. It's an upper hole location. What club should I hit? Depending on your swing and the conditions, a nine iron or an eight iron could be suitable choices. If the green is elevated, consider taking the club that will give you a bit more distance, likely the eight iron to ensure you make it up to the higher elevation. How's the wind out there? It's a helping wind right now. That was an eight iron and I hit it a little over the green because there was a helping wind. Now, as you approach the green to see your lie, the focus shifts to planning an effective recovery shot. So the AI did tell me to club down to a nine, but I didn't listen, I hit an eight, but hopefully I can get this up and down. And now I got like a three foot putt for par. Okay, I got 125 yards, slightly uphill middle pin location. What club do you think I should use? Typically for 125 yards, a pitching wedge or a nine iron might be the go-to clubs. Given the uphill aspect, you might lean towards the nine iron to ensure you have enough distance to reach the pin. right at it. Whoa! I think that was the right club. It did hit the green, but it rolled off a little bit on the left side. So let's see how it is. Here's the flag. And then here's my ball, maybe 12 feet away. So not a bad club selection. The distance was right on. Get in, get in. Mm. So I just chipped in for birdie. I'd say that is the right club on this hole. Thank you, AI Golf Caddy. So far, the AI Golf Caddy has given me some good advice. And if you're a beginner and you have no clue what club to hit, it could be super helpful. So to recap, the AI Golf Caddy was very helpful during my round. It did provide me some solid advice on club choice and told me what to focus on during my shot. Focus on your posture and balance to maintain accuracy. As mentioned before, I was limited on the amount of knowledge I could upload to the GPT, but it was really cool that I can ask the AI to pull up an image of a certain hole and it would display it on the screen, giving me a better picture of the shot. The AI golf caddy would give me props if it heard me say that I had hit a good shot. Well, I hit into the trees. <laughs> Heading into the trees can be a tricky situation in golf. But sometimes the answers were very long, so I might update it to answer with more concise responses. Most experienced golfers know the distance that they hit each club, but if you're a beginner golfer, the AI golf caddy could be a major help on the golf course when it comes to learning what club to hit in different situations. AI golf caddy, tell me a golf joke. Why did the golfer bring two pairs of pants in case he got a hole in one? If you like this video, like and subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos like this one, and leave a comment if you have any golf-related GPT ideas. Thanks for watching.